Yes, this is genuinely how I type. My right hand dominates the keyboard using an angled like approach. My left thumb rests on the spacebar, whilst my right thumb rests under the spacebar. Despite my thumbs being perfectly placed to press the spacebar, I instead extend my right index finger to press the spacebar. You may be curious as to how on earth my typing style ended up like this. You may be even more curious to hear that the fact that it is so strange does not matter and that my weird typing style even rivals touch typists. I have been using computers for as long as I can remember. They have always served some role in my life and today even more so than ever given that I am studying computer science as my major. During this lockdown period, a good friend of mine and myself have started to venture into the world of productivity and have been reading, talking and thinking about different ways we can optimize our lives. One day we discussed touch typing. It is generally hallowed as the quintessential style of typing that allows for the greatest typing speeds and accuracy. This got me thinking about my own typing style. I've never been taught how to type, both formally or informally. Everything I know today about the way I type developed merely through trial and error. Despite this, on a good day, I can reach roughly 80 words per minute and do not need to look at the keyboard. This is not quite Ali Abdal's around 155 words per minute on a good day, but it certainly is a good typing speed to attain. But what if it could be even more optimized? At the time, I thought it would be a good idea to improve my typing speed a bit by taking a touch typing course online. In my head, I thought I merely needed a small number of corrections made to steer my typing in a better direction. That was until I recorded myself type and saw for the first time just how, well, different it was. After seeing this, I formulated a theory about my style of typing. Yes, I might have a high typing speed now, but perhaps it has a low amount of accuracy, or perhaps there is some sort of cap in the typing speed I can attain, since I do not utilize every finger equally. So I had two options, keep my current style or force myself to learn to touch type. I decided to try one or two online lessons, but quickly realized that this was a much steeper learning slope that I was going to have to conquer if I wanted to change my typing style. Everything felt unnatural. It was like learning how to type from scratch again. And besides, who's to say that I would even reach my previous speeds again? How long would it take me to become the typist I used to be with this new, unnatural typing style? Luckily, as it turns out, I did not need to make that decision. My weird typing style might not be so bad after all. A study from Alto University took 30 volunteers of varying typing speeds and of both touch typing background as well as self-taught and put their styles to the test. Using motion capture, eye tracking and a variety of different mediums and techniques, the scientists could gain a good understanding of the participants' different typing styles. Whilst there are many interesting findings from the paper, which I won't go into detail in this video, the most interesting takeaway was that self-taught typists were just as fast as touch typists. Not only this, but they had a similar accuracy to their touch typist counterparts. They concluded that a self-taught typing technique can be just as effective in terms of speed and accuracy as a touch typing style. Most people think that you need to have taken a touch typing course and learn how to use all your 10 fingers in order to type actually fast. But surprisingly, we found that the number of fingers does not affect your typing speed. You could use just one or two fingers per hand and still type very fast. Of course, one argument that could be made for touch typing over a self-taught style is that it is more effective. I can certainly agree with the sentiment. As you saw earlier, it is rather ineffective for me to use my right index finger to press the spacebar instead of my left thumb that rests against the spacebar. Whilst there could be some energy and effectiveness gained from a touch typing style, this is the least of my concerns. A computer scientist may use a keyboard a fair amount, but not nearly as much as say an author or a professional typist would. So here I am today, still typing using this weird typing style that I've developed over the years. It might make some co-workers have a good laugh in the future, but the truth is 
it will not be hindering my performance as a computer scientist. And if you are like me, having a typing style that makes your friends cringe, you need not fear, because chances are you're just as good as the touch typists. <laughs>